Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will be showing you how to navigate to a URL using the web browser control in Visual Basic 2010 Express. So you're going to want to open up Visual Basic 2010 Express, click new project. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as the default and choose Windows Forms application. Press OK and you get your default form 1. You can resize this to whatever you like. You can then go to your toolbox. If you don't have your tool toolbox down the side here, you can go to your menu and click this toolbo toolbox button. It's a picture of a hammer and a spanner. Or you can press Control alt x on your keyboard. Then we want the web browser control here, underneath common controls, towards the bottom. We'll just drag that into our form and it'll fill the entire space on our form here. Now if you want it like that, that is fine. Otherwise you can click this little arrow and press undock in parent container and that'll make it a resizable control. Uh, and you can choose where that goes on your form. So we will just resize it like so and maybe adjust the size of the form a little bit. Um, that looks alright there. Okay, so we want this web browser control, this area here, to navigate to a URL. So to do that we can just click it and go over to properties and make sure it says web browser 1. Then we'll just scroll down towards the bottom to the URL parameter here and we just type in any URL, so HTTP um, google.com Once we do that we can then press run and as you can see here our very small web browser control has navigated to google.com It's a bit, bit um, distorted because it's such a small control here but um, as you can see it's it's gone to Google so if we just close that that stops the debugging what if now you wanted to navigate to a URL based on a button that you press which can be done in Visual Basic so we're going to go back to our properties here and remove the google.com from our URL parameter and we're going to make our form slightly bigger and we'll make the web browser control slightly bigger so that it's um, not going to be distorted this this test. We'll then go back to our toolbox, go up to button, drag a button in and I'll just put one on the side here and we're going to resize that to whatever you want and we're going to get two more of these so that we have three buttons. We're then just going to click on each button individually, go to properties, then text, and change this to some text. Let's try Google for button one. Button two can be Yahoo, and button three can be Bing. We'll then just double click the first button, the Google button, and we come to our code here for button one click. That's our Google button. Well, the code we want to put in there is web browser one dot navigate. Then we want some parentheses and quotation marks. Inside those quotation marks is where we go we are going to put our URL, which is http um, google.com. We'll then go back to our design and double click the Yahoo button. Then we're editing the code for button to click. So we'll change that to web browser one dot navigate parentheses quotation marks http yahoo.com and the last button, button three here, is the Bing one. We double click, type in web browser one dot navigate. Yeah, dot navigate parentheses, quotation marks, HTTP, bing.com. Okay, so our buttons will go to different web pages when they are pressed. So we'll go start debugging, 
and nothing loads. But when we press Google, it loads the Google page. A little less distorted this time. We press Yahoo. It loads a Yahoo page. And um, sorry about that error. That error seemed to be a script error uh, from Yahoo's side. Here it is again. Okay, so that seems to be an issue from Yahoo there. Let's try Bing. And there we go, no error there as well. So I'm pretty sure that was just a Yahoo issue. So we can switch between these different websites by using the buttons. And that will be editing this URL parameter for the Web Browser 1 component um, using this code that we've written. Now lastly, what if you want to edit where the URL Now lastly, what if we want to edit the URL that's displayed in Web Browser 1 component using user input? For that, we're going to go to our toolbox, then go to text box. We'll bring a text box up here, and move our Google button to next to the text box, change the text of that button to go, and we've removed our Yahoo and Bing buttons. Then we'll go back to the code here and delete the button 3 click sub and then delete the button 2 click sub. So that we only have a button 1 click sub. In this button 1 click sub, instead of going to google.com, we want it to navigate to the URL that the user inputs in text box 1. So for that, we're going to write web browser one, web browser one dot navigate, nav yeah, navigate um, parentheses, and in that we're going to write text box one dot text, and press run. So now, if we input a URL into this text box, http microsoft.com we press go and we are taken to microsoft.com if we change that to http apple.com press go we get taken to apple's website if it'll load there we go iphone 5 apple's website and that's getting the navigation url from user input so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial where we learnt how to navigate to a URL using the web browser component in Visual Basic 20 Gen Express. If you liked this video or any of my other videos, please feel free to comment, rate and subscribe. If you have any questions, please comment below as well and I'd be happy to help you.